Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, so the next program in chapter three is areas of areas of rectangles. All right, so the area of a rectangle is the rectangle's length times its width. Write a program that asks for the length and width of two rectangles. The program should tell the user which rectangle has the greater area or if the areas are the same. Okay, so basically we're going to ask for the length of um, the rectangle one and the width of rectangle one. And then we're going to find the area of um, rectangle one. And then we're going to do the same thing for rectangle two and say, what's the length of rectangle two, the, the uh, width of rectangle two. And then we're going to use that information to find the area of rectangle two. And then we're going to use if statements to compare them and see which one is bigger, which one is, um, uh, yeah, which one is bigger. And then if they're the same, we also we are also going to display that. So let's start. So first, um, we are going to ask for the length and width of, of the two rectangles. So let's start with the length of rectangle one. So I'm going to use the input function to do that. I'm going to call, ask for, um, please enter, um, let's say, please enter the length of rectangle one, I guess, uh, rectangle one, and the user is going to type in something. Now remember, anytime someone types in something in the, uh, using the input function, for example, if the, if the user types in something the way it is now, even if the user types in a number, it's going to be returned as a string. <coughs> Whatever is typed in here will be returned as a string. But the thing is, we can't use strings in calculation, so we would have to convert what the user types into a number. So the length of the rectangle, for example, would be what the user is going to type, but then it's going to be returned as a string. So we need to convert it to an, um, an integer. Uh, I'll, I'll use a float for now, but you can use an integer if you want. I'll use a float for now, just in case someone wants to type in a decimal or something for length and width. <coughs> okay, so I'll use a float. So that means that because this is going to be returned as a, as a string, we need to convert it to a float. And you do that by just calling the float function and surrounding everything that the user typed with parentheses. So I'm going to put spaces here, just so we know. So we are converting everything that the user typed um, in parentheses. So once we have converted the length of rectangle one to a float, now we need a place to store it. Okay, we need a place to start. So I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to call it rectangle one length like this. And I'm going to store the length of rectangle one in there like this. So rectangle one length. I'm going to do the same thing here for rectangle one width. Okay, just change it. I'm going to copy this line, paste it, and change this rectangle one length to re rectangle one length to rectangle one width like this and then I'm going to convert what the user types um, into a float and then store it in re rectangle one width so I'm going to change the content to please enter the width not everything width I'm, not, I'm, just, I'm just changing the string to please enter the width of rectangle one so now we have the width and we have the length now I can go ahead and do the same thing for rectangle two and three I'm just going to copy both of them and I'm going to oops, paste it on a new line. Actually, I can put that around to close them all. And say, please enter, change this variable to rectangle two length. And say, please enter the length of rectangle two. And then change this variable to rectangle two width. And change the string to please enter the width of rectangle two. So now we have the length of rectangle one and its, uh, and its width, and then the length and width of rectangle two. So now let's go ahead and calculate the area of rectangle one and the area of rectangle two. According to this question, it says, the area of a rectangle is the rectangle's length times its width. We have all those in variables here. So let's go ahead and calculate the area for rectangle one. So area, oops. So area, um, let's see, let's do a rectangle one area, let's do it this way. Rectangle one area is going to be, according to this question, length times its width, okay? So we have rectangle one length here. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. 
Uh, actually, I can paste. I can just type it. All right. So uh, uh, I don't know. I can just type it. I just felt like I just copied it. Just came, came to my mind. Anyway, <laughs> rectangle one area is going to be equal to rectangle one length. Okay, times its width, which is rectangle one width, like this. Okay, now that's going to store the width. Uh, sorry, it's going to store the area of rectangle one. So the rectangle one area now is going to store the area of rectangle one here. And then let's do the same thing for rectangle two. I'm just going to copy this whole line and paste it again. But this time around, I'm going to change rectangle two area to go to be rectangle two length times rectangle two width. So now we'll have rectangle one, rectangle two. Now we have to compare the two and see which one is bigger, which one is smaller, and if they're equal. <coughs> All right. So let's see. Um, the program should tell the user which rectangle has a greater area, or if the area um, of the, or, or if the areas are the same. All right. So we can we can do this. We can create an if statement. Uh, I, I don't have to put. I don't really have to put parentheses unless you know. I'm doing. Okay. So we can create an if statement and say if rectangle. Sometimes I, I, you know, I code in Java too, and sometimes you're forced to, you know, I mean, you're not forced to, but it happens that you, like, for example, terminate some, some, so some of the statements. I mean, you can in in um, in Python, for example, you can, for example, if you wanted to declare variables on the same line, you can terminate can terminate them with se uh, semicolons. But generally, you don't terminate your um, statements with semicolons. <coughs> okay, so if rectangle one area because we have both areas. Okay, is greater than oops, is greater than rectangle two area. Then that means that rectangle one is um, bigger than rectangle two. So just just print statements that says, in that case, then rectangle one is bigger. It's bigger than rectangle two. Um, Rectangle two. Now, if that's not the case, which is going to be else, okay, which is going to be else. So I'm going to create an else statement here. So if that's not the case, okay, then actually let let's test to see if rectangle two is is um, look at what I did over here. It's area, not area a, area D. Okay, so else if rectangle two is bigger than rectangle one, then that, then let's print rectangle two is bigger than rectangle um, one. So let's say else. Uh, actually, actually, it's it's an else if. Okay, and the else will be the the, la the later part when both. Actually, I, I meant to I meant to type an else if. Actually, it's not an else if in Python. It's an lf, but but it stands for an else if. L, the else part will come later on when we've tested both cases. You know whether it, a rectangle one is like, whether the area of the rectangle one is less than the area of rectangle two, or the area of rectangle two is big, uh, bigger than the area of rectangle one. If if none of those cases are true, that's when we use the else. So the else doesn't come in now. So now let's use the lf. The lf here, which means which stands for else if in other programs. So lf lf rectangle rectangle two area okay it's bigger than rectangle one area okay so let's see rectangle two area rectangle okay a lift rectangle two area is bigger than rectangle one area then let's go ahead and print I'm going to copy this line <coughs> and say Instead of rectangle one is bigger than rectangle two, let's say rectangle two is bigger than rectangle one. And then now is when we use the else. Okay, so this is where I went. I meant to use the else. So in that case, then else. Okay. So if rectangle one is bigger than rectangle two area, I mean in terms of area, if rectangle one area is bigger than rectangle two area, then rectangle one is bigger. Rectangle one is bigger than rectangle two. If rectangle two area is bigger, bigger than rectangle one area, then rectangle two is bigger than rectangle one. 
if none of the cases are true, then then th that means that they are equal. Okay, that means they are equal. So we c you can you can actually um, you can actually um, in an in an e um, in a very explicit way stated that if you can say another LF, okay, you can say another LF like this LF rectangle one area, okay, is equal to double equals, okay, for for comparison. My typing is bad. I'm sorry. I can say if uh, a left rectangle one area is equal to rectangle two area, then you print statements. But the thing is, if if it's if if rectangle one area is not bigger than rectangle two, and rectangle two area is not bigger bigger than rectangle one, that means they're equal. So you don't have to actually do this, but you can do this if you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and use an else statement and print a statement that says that they're equal. I'm, I'm going to say that. Rectangle one, the area of you know, they they have the same area, so, so both rectangles are equal. That's all. <laughs> both rectangles are equal. Like that's it. <laughs> all right. So both both rectangles are equal, and we're done. We're done. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and debug this, but we have to save it. So I'm going to save the file. <clears throat> in the folder that I've been keeping all the files. My computer is a bit slow, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to go to desktop and I have it here, Python. Okay, so I'm going to create a folder for this one and I'll call it Areas of rectangles. <coughs> then I'll save it as areas of rectangles. Py. Okay, so let's run it and see what happens. Okay, so please enter the length of rectangle one. I'm going to enter, let's say, four. Enter the width of rectangle one. I'm going to enter five. Enter the length of rectangle two, two. The width of rectangle two, seven. It says rectangle one is bigger than rectangle two. Okay, so let me go ahead and just, you know, before I print it out, let me just let me just create a new line so we so we can separate things out nicely before I print out any statement. So before I print out any statement, I'm just typing a new line character. So it's, it's just going to, it's just going to instead of printing right after the line, it's going to create a new line character. Um, before, okay, before that. All right, that's my brother. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I needed to quit this. Um, I, I don't know. It's quit, but it still shows up. Uh, maybe I have to, I have to. I said it's offline. It's still offline. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> I apologize for that. That's I'll I'll text them after that. Okay. <laughs> um. That's fine. I will um I'll I'll fix this after that. I'll try to just you know disable that. Okay, so now I've I've created some line breaks, so it's going to create uh, create a new line before printing the output, so we can see it well. So let's just do it one one more time. Actually, no, a couple more times. So three, two, five, four, and it says rectangle two is bigger than rectangle one. Let's try something different. So let's try four, six. Oops, six. One, two. Now it says rectangle one is bigger than rectangle two. Now let's try something equal for for both of them, and it's going to be let's try two, 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 two. It says both rectangles are equal. All right, so so that's it. Yeah, that's it. So if you have any questions, please comments down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next program. Bye bye.